So I decided to take up yoga recently. Who knew there were so many different types of yoga? Anyway, I found a class that looked really good, dutifully put my light core on, off I went to the yoga class, and I was greeted at the door by the yoga teacher, and she was resplendent in white flowing, a white flowing tunic, white flowy trousers, lovely crystal bracelets, barefoot, and she welcomed me to the class, and on the floor there were five or six yoga mats. Now she slightly apologetically said, oh, this is a new class, I'm just getting started locally. I'm hoping there'll be more people. I want to grow the, the class. And I thought, do you know, I probably can help you, but I'm going to, this is my first time. I'm going to take the class and see how I get on, and then we can always talk later. So there we were doing our downward dogs and our lotus blossom fire breaths. Any of you that do yoga will know what I'm talking about. And I had a couple of thoughts going through my mind. And actually, I'm going to be really honest with you. One of the thoughts going through my mind was, shall I stop at the garage on the way home and buy a bounty bar? But the other thought going through my mind was, I wonder if I can help this lady to market this class. So at the end of the yoga class, we were chatting. And the yoga teacher said, what do you do? So I explained to her, I said, I'm a social media mentor, speaker and trainer, and I help small businesses to market themselves online. Oh, she said, that's just what I need, but I don't like to put myself out there and I hate social media. Can anyone relate? Everyone loves social media. Well, in my line of business, I've heard that before. It's not the first time. So I went on and I explained to her that having worked with hundreds and, and probably even trained thousands of small businesses how to market themselves online, that yes, it is really important to have a strategy and it's really important to show up consistently on social media. But there's something else that makes a really, really big difference. Now, this is something that I've discovered and it's something that a lot of people don't realize and it's something that complements and enhances your marketing incredibly. I, I'm actually, I, I think this is a superpower and I, I call it my secret sauce. Does anyone like to know what the secret sauce is? Thank you. The secret sauce is energetic marketing. Now, if you're not familiar with energetic marketing, this is the practice of marketing by harnessing your own energy and it's a practice of marketing very much in alignment with your purpose, with your own energetic blueprint and it's a way of marketing very much in integrity and using your intuition. So it's really bringing together the strategic side of marketing with, I suppose, the spiritual side of marketing and very much connecting with not just the minds of your clients but the hearts of your clients too. So as I explained this to the yoga teacher, she, her face lit up and she said, you know, this is what I've been looking for. Satnam, thank you. And she said, maybe we can talk. So we are going to talk. And I'm pleased to say that as I left the yoga class that night, I didn't go and buy a bounty bar on the way home. Oh, I didn't go and buy a bounty bar on the way home, but I've now potentially got a new lady that I'm gonna be able to help with her marketing. So if you'd like to know more about energetic marketing, how you can use your energy to market with integrity in a different way, to use the secret source, please come and have a chat with me in the break. Thank you.